Hey everybody, welcome back to Pro Mix Academy. Glenn Fricker here, your resident Reaper guy. Just gonna show you a real quick way how to load up your plugins in Reaper. Uh, now, plugins are obviously what you're gonna use to affect your track, uh, be it using an EQ, compressor, gate, what have you, reverb, you name it. Uh, plugins are what allow us to manipulate the sound uh, to get the desired effect. Now, what I've got right here is my drum. And we can do all kinds of cool stuff here. Bring up my room mics. Let's see what we got here. So the one one place I put reverb on is on my drums, and I'll send all my uh, all my shell mics out to a global reverb. Um, kick, snare, toms. Usually not so much kick. A lot of snare, a little bit of toms. So if you click in the uh, enter track effects area of the mixer reaper is going to give you just a gigantic list of effects that you've got installed um, if you have a whole bunch of stuff of various flavors there's the built-in ones there's the ria effects uh which which are designed by kakos and then there's um, i've got all my different uh types of you know my vsts vst eyes for virtual instruments that i never use vst3 that's what i've been working with a lot and because we're on uh, mac os there's audio units as well which is kind of like you know the uh, the uh, built-in version and standard and then you know you can list by uh, like by developers but we're looking for reverb so what i usually do is just you know do a search down here filter for verb we're gonna look under all plugins so uh we're gonna pull up the classic here this is the waves r verb you know this is like a modern classic reverb this thing's great and uh we're gonna set this for 100 percent wet see what we get well let's turn this up a little let's see if we can do something here because this is not doing much right now let's send a little bit more out to that let's go to the drum verb Perfect. Let's tweak the time on that. A little bit of pre-delay. Let's hear that in the mix. Pretty cool. And again, you know, all your effects are just available wherever you, uh, wherever you click on that. You know, if I want an EQ on this guitar here, let's pull up HEQ. And this is going to give us a really beautiful equalizer here. We just uh, want to make sure this is enabled here. If it's, uh, if this isn't lit up, I uh, just want to light that up like so. We can solo this. And then we can affect this however we want. Wow, this is a beautiful EQ. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Damn. Okay. Already got a global EQ. You should definitely check out one of my premium lessons about how to global EQ your guitar tracks. That kind of thing. Those are available on Pro Mix Academy. But, uh, yeah, there you go. It's just all your uh, effects plugins are right exactly where you need them, right at your fingertips. Super easy to access, super easy to organize. And if you can't find it, all you have to do is just do a search for what you're looking for. If I want to put a flanger on that, Wow, that was actually pretty cool at the end there. I like that a lot. That's pretty neat. So yeah, plugins are super easy to access in Reaper. Uh, you can you can grab them down here on the mixer board, or you can even check them out here if you hit the effects uh, button right here on the track. It'll give you your selection and uh, it will show you your effects chain, whatever you've got going on. If you see this corresponds, like uh, if we pull up the, say, the snare drum here, snare top, here's our effects chain. You can see I've got a lot of effects down here. I've got Fab Filter, uh, the Imperca Labs Arouser, uh, Shep's Omni Channel, probably for a little EQ, not a lot of compression going on there. Yeah, that's right. And then an REQ to get rid of some, some ring. And uh, if we pull that up here, we get the whole 
effects chain here. And if you want to break this out of this little box, if you haven't made the, uh, if, if you find that's too restricting, you just double click and it'll give you um, a floating window of the effect as well. And this is really great. Now, one, one thing I really like about Reaper, and I almost forgot to mention this, is you can save effects chains. Highlight this and save it as a chain. Save selected effects as chain. We can save this as um, snare patch. What that does, all those effects that are set up in that certain way, you can now load this up on say like a blank track. So what you can do is you can add in an extra track, hit your effects button here and you get that window. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here and go FX chains, load FX chain. We're gonna pull that up and that was snare patch. You can see I got a lot of different ones made up. And where was that? We can set that up to date modified for the last one we just did. Today, snare patch, boom. And there it is. There's that patch on a whole new channel right down here. And it's that simple. So this is a great way if you're working on an album project or something like that, and you have tracks that are consistent from song to song, like a snare drum or guitars, that kind of thing, you can save a save an effects chain and then load it up on the next song and save yourself a whole lot of work. It's a fantastic way to work. Reaper makes it super simple. So that's it for this episode. If you found it useful and you want more, be sure to check out my free downloads. You can check out my ebook on recording heavy metal drums. You can check out my cheat sheet. And of course, I've got some premium lessons available on Promix Academy as well, which are two, three, four hours long. And uh, we go over prog metal, math rock, and even symphonic folk metal. And uh, you can get them all as part of a discount package as well. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow the links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>